So we're out on Beaver Lake. We're catching some bait because we're going to go catch some what? Anything. Anything. Okay, I'm with Scott, and I tell you what, he is a phenomenon when it comes to fishing and catching. I only care about the catching part. Tell him a little bit about throwing bait, though. We were throwing a uh, cast net just a second ago. Where do you throw your cast net? What do you look for? I'm basically standing on the back of the boat looking at both my graphs, trying to find where the bait schools are at and what depth they are. Today, they're running about 10 to 20 feet deep. One net was just not working, and so Brad even pulled out my other cast net. We were tandem netting. That was the only way to get them, unfortunately, today. Typically, you'll find your shad running in 10, up to about two feet of water, six foot cast net. You can catch plenty of bait real easy. There you go. Now, the water temperature is about 43 degrees, so where do you look for your shad to catch them this time of year? What you're looking for, especially if you're going for stripers or a hardier bait, if you want to go into the back of the creeks and the coves, find mud flats. That's where your gizzard shad are going to be. Threadfin shad are more open water, so you want to stay into the back of the mud. Also, threadfin don't live near as long as a gizzard will. Speaking of there which, let me make sure. Look at that. Yeah, we so got we it. caught them. We put them just in the live well. You don't have to necessarily have a shad tank if you're going to use them the same day, right? Right. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, so there you have it. Throw your cast net, catch some bait, and you will catch what, Scott? With Stri these shad. Striper, walleye, crappie, bass. Pretty much if it's swimming in the lake, you have a chance of catching it. There you go. Get a cast net, throw it, learn how to throw it, and then you two can catch some fish like my buddy Scott.